Okay, I'm gonna walk through step 61 through 70 of Free Code Camp's new responsive web design second project, learn basic CSS by building a cafe menu. So for step 61, we're gonna add a new class. So remember, classes start with a period and it's gonna be called established. So we're gonna add our curly braces. And on the inside, we wanna change the font style. And instead of uh, being uh, like normal, straight up, we want it to be slanted a little bit. So we're gonna make it italic. So font dash style, and then, oops, italic. So it's not gonna affect anything right now because we haven't added the class to anything. But in this step, we're actually gonna add the class to, well, I wonder what we should do. We just want it to affect establish 2020. So we couldn't do it to the header because that would also affect Camper Cafe. So we wanna just do the specific tag of P right here. And we're gonna add the class established, oops. And there we go. You can see the text is italicized right there. It's a little slanted. Okay, so the next two things, are we're gonna add two more classes. The first one is H1, or not a class actually, we're gonna uh, CSS selector. We're just gonna use the H1 CSS selector. So it's just gonna affect all H1 elements and we're gonna change the font size. And we want the first one to be 40 pixels. Boom, bigger. Okay, so now header two. And we're also gonna change the size, but a little bit smaller to 30 pixels. Now everything's just a little bit easier to read. It's bigger, it pops out a little bit more, especially with that font. Um, all right, and next, after the main element, we're just gonna add a footer. So footer. And again, it's not gonna change the effect of anything yet. Um, a footer. The footer class is just, um, it's like main. It, um, it doesn't change what something looks like, but it structures your HTML well. All right, so that for this next, inside the footer, we're gonna add a paragraph. And we're also gonna have a link inside. So I'm gonna indent it like this. And the link is gonna say, visit our website. So we scroll down here, it says visit our website. Oh, but it's, it's not, uh, it doesn't, you can't click anything yet. So we have to add the href attribute and we're going to go to https colon slash slash www.freecodecamp.org now if we scroll down boom we can click it again uh, normally it would go to the actual website but because we're inside of free code camps tutorial it's not actually going to but this little pop-up just says hey you did it right but that's uh just because you're on this um on this uh, tutorial you can't actually go anywhere so next uh, we're going to add a second paragraph tag and we're just going to put the address so it's a fake address obviously free code camp drive so maybe you want your website and your um, address right you want people to be able to go to your cafe and so we're just going to put the address at the bottom like that okay for the next step we're going to use an hr element it's self-closing we're just going to do hr and right there you can see oh look we have um we have a little separator here. It's a gray bar going across. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for now. Okay. And next we want this to look a little differently. We want it to look, be a little bolder, a little bigger. So we're gonna use that, select it with HR. We're just gonna select all HR elements and we want it to be a little bit bigger. So we are going to change the height and we want it to be three pixels. So now it's like a little box and it's, can zoom in it's see-through in the middle um, but we're gonna we're gonna change everything soon enough so next we want to make it brown so we want to change background color just like we did to the menu right here we're gonna change that color and we're gonna make it brown so now we zoom in it's filled but we have some gray bars on the outside if you can notice that there it's hard to see but it, it makes it it just doesn't look quite the way we want it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna change the color of the border and we're gonna make it brown. So now, oh, look at that. It looks a little bit clearer. So when you zoom in, everything is just brown. All right, there we go. 